Hello Louise, um, so when we finished working together the other week you also said you just like a reminder on how you split your database, your access database. Um, so here I have a simple database with some tables, or well, one table and a form. Um, and the idea of splitting a database is that we can get the tables into a file that we called a backend file, which can be saved on a shared drive on your network, a public shared drive. And then the front end, which is your forms, your queries, your reports, can be saved on your local drive. And also a copy of that front end can be saved on other users' local drives. So they can all feed in to the back end uh, file uh, on, the, on the shared drive, which is creating that multi-user environment. So in short, we need to split the tables from the front end. They get saved in a back end on a shared public drive and then all the front ends on each individual user's machines, all the front ends can be used independently and feed into the back end table. And all you need to do to split is to go to database tools and access database here. This dialog box comes up, database splitter. If we, information about what you're about to do, but if we split the database, what it's asking you to do is save this new file, the database, notice the, the suffix here, the BE, backend. So it's asking you to save this new backend file, and this is the one you'd save on a shared drive, leaving the original file just the front end, which is on your local drive, and that's the file you distribute, the local drive, the front end, sorry, you distribute to other local drives, other users, um, but they all feed into the back end. So you must make sure that you save this uh, I haven't got a, a shared drive here, it's just me, but um, you would save this on your publicly or your shared drive, this back-end file. Your remaining front-end file feeds in to that, that file. 